box like that, but with a holy field chin. There ain't a situation that I can't win. Only hot shit coming out my pen. Niggas like that nerd rap, I noticed the trend. Simping on records, man, that ain't hood. But when I point it out, man, that ain't. Aight, we back with another edition of the Random Boxing Notes. We just gonna reflect upon this weekend's previous fights as well as all the shit that's just been going on in boxing for the last couple days. First off, Cloud and Hopkins. I picked Cloud to win a decision. I thought his uh, punch and power, quick hands, you know, his uh, temperament as a fighter would pull him through as long as he just remained who he was you know aggressive fighter didn't give a fuck throw bombs go in there work the body does what he do you know how it is but you know he wasn't able to do that i knew that he didn't have the best of footwork and angles could befuddle him and i believe that's why hopkins kind of chose this matchup he knew he could work it to his advantage you might say hopkins kind of cherry picked him but he, at the end of the day, he still fought an aggressive, power-punching, young, undefeated fighter. So I wouldn't really call it a cherry pick. It was more like a, a favorable matchup. You, you feel me? With that said, Hopkins, he fought a sound, clean fight. You know, he beat the dude fair and square. Um, as far as a, like a dominating performance, I didn't see all that shit. I didn't see, you know, this dominating one-sided ass kicking everybody's talking about. I saw like a, a competitive fight, more like a sparring session type of fight where you see one guy coming for the other dude is just using his boxing and, and in ring generalship to win. You know, Cloud won that best maybe four or five rounds, but he, he kind of dropped the ball on this. And, you know, another thing, in HBO, they was really on Hopkins' dick on this fight, man. Like, they, a lot of shit, a lot of effective shit Clout was doing, you know, it's like they didn't even notice it or talk about it. So, I think that's what kind of made it, made it feel more one-sided, and, you know. But that's cool, though. At the end of the day, Clout's type of performance, he didn't do himself any favors in that type of fight, you know. And the thing is, too, when you really look at it, you had a real good ref for this fight, he didn't allow it to become a Hopkins, you know, clinch fest, dirty elbow, headbutt, out of, you know, all that fucking bullshit. The fight never got out of control like a lot of Hopkins fights. And Cloud, for the life of me, I don't know why he didn't take advantage of it. That's what kind of pisses me off because, you know, I'm a Florida dude. He a Florida dude. So, you know, you want your peeps to win. And, you know, he, he really dropped the ball on this shit. Because just think about this. Look at the type of Hopkins fight that Kawasaki had to go against. Jermaine Taylor had to go against twice. Chad Dawson twice. Look how Hopkins was able to do so much in that fight as far as the illegal shit. And, you know, the borderline low blows, the hip punches, rabbit, all that bullshit. Yet, they still fought their asses off and won. Now, may not have won as clearly as people want to want them to win. But they got the victory, and they put in a much better effort than Cloud did, who basically had a ref in there that was forcing Hopkins to fight clean and really outbox him. And if you can't beat Hopkins when he's not allowed to do all his dirty shit, you know, eh, it kind of looks bad on your part. Anyways, let's get into this uh, disturbing kid. I thought he had another good performance against Zavik. I honestly thought Thurman would knock him out either, you know, in the middle rounds. Uh, you know, Dur Zavik has a chin, but I ain't think his face, uh, you know, his facial makeup, you know, his face uh, really just be able to withstand all the punishment because he, he took some heavy bombs, some big shots throughout this fight. But he persevered and he kept coming forward and, you know... He, he made a good little fight of it. He did his best. Uh, but Thurman was just, you know, head and shoulders above dude. With Thurman, I feel he could be a problem for anybody at 147. What I see in him, he's more like a, a athletic version of uh, Canelo Alvarez. When I say more of an athletic version because, version of uh, Alvarez, it's because Canelo... You know, he could rip good body shots, he throws bombs, he throws combinations, he could box a bit.
but Canelo, you know, he doesn't have a ring generalship. He does. He's not moving around. He's not pivoting, and he's not shooting from different angles. And Thurman has that athleticism. You know, he, he his style allows him to do all that shit. That's why I say he's more like an athletic version of Canelo. Right now, I can't pick anybody else that Thurman reminds me of, but I see big things for him in the future. I think his defense could tighten up a little bit. Sometimes he drops his hands. And he was getting caught with some uh, overhand rights and a few hooks from Zavik. Zavik has a decent punch. And, you know, Thurman took him. You know, he never looked like he was in trouble or, you know, he was doing the stanky leg or anything. I know Thurman got into it with uh, Pali Milanaji. You know, over the weekend. And they're going at it. And, then, you know... I know Thurman, what I like about Thurman is, you know, he's not afraid to say what's on his mind. And that's how you attract fans, you know, build yourself up, you know, talk shit. You know, if you believe you can knock dudes out, you you believe you deserve to fight a champion, you know, say it. You know, I think they bringing around, they bringing him good throughout his career. You know, this Zavik was a step up from uh, Quintana. It'd be cool to see Thurman get a... Uh, a title shot by the end of this year Now Milanaji As I said before you know All the little shit going on with Thurman And they were sending each other back and forth Um I know y'all heard about uh Milanaji getting a fight With uh, Adrian Broner I don't know if that's finalized or not But I heard it's almost done It's probably finalized by the time this shit goes up Um and it's a decent fight. I can't hate on Broner. He's going up. You know, he's he, you know, he's moving up from 135 to 147. Pauli Milanaji is the weakest champ. But you know, he's a two-time champ, you know. And it's not like he's a scrub. Like right now, like I think he's a better fighter than uh Burns and uh Vasquez at 135 and Abril. I mean it's a better fight than those fights, in my opinion. Opinion, although I think the Ricky Burns and Broner fight would be actually, you know, kind of exciting. But fuck it, whatever. Um, I know everybody wants to shit on Broner because he's like, damn, you know, he's skipping 140. But let's just hold off. The Manali, the Milanaji fight ain't that bad. But what's gonna happen is we're gonna want to see who Broner fights. After that, you really want to want to see Broner fight a live dude, like a real gun, like, you know, a Brandon Rios or a Lucas Matisse or a Danny Garcia type of dude after this fight. But, you know, it's still a, a, a decent fight with Broner and Milanaji. I think Broner beats the shit out this guy. Um, Paulie's able to move a little bit. Paulie's going to, you know, give it a good go. You know, Milanaji doesn't lay down for anybody, you know. The only time I really saw him mail it in and just get his ass what was, you know, against Ricky Hatton. And it's funny because he talked the most shit to Ricky Hatton that I, could, that I could remember. And he just really lost like every round except the first. But leading up to this fight with Broner, they, you know, they're going to talk shit. You already see how he's schooling Thurman. Although I think Thurman would beat the fuck out of Milanaji and, um, the dudes that Milanaji has lost to, I mean, shit, fuck, let me see a Thurman Cotto fight, actually, I think that's a good fight, let, let him fight out of catchaway, Thurman's a big dude, let him fight at 151 or some shit, you know what I mean, <laughs> random boxing, no swag science, I'm out.